My name is Gary Phillips. Sarah Lee Gershon. My name is Rachel Housel Hall. Okay, my name is Stacy Meadows. I, uh, I guess it helped that my mom was a librarian, so of course I had no choice but to have to read uh, when I got home from school. After I did my homework and before I could go out and play, I still had to read. And somehow or another, I, I suppose this instill, instilled in me the love of reading, and I just gravitated to, to crime uh, uh, reading after I read the first Sherlock Holmes story, after I read, uh, uh, I guess it's a study in Scarlet. Between Sidney Sheldon and uh, Jackie Collins got me into the kind of strong female characters who travel outside the, the, the safe boundaries of, of living. Marsha Muller uh, had been my favorite from the 70s. Uh, she just was uh, grisly and hardcore and so intelligent. And one of the very first books that I ever read was a Bobsy, well, I say read. Um, it was a Bobsy Twin book and it was the first time my parents realized that I could read out, you know, actual sentences. So that was probably my very first memory and then I kind of grew into the, you know, Nancy Drew, Agatha Christie. read a particular writer, you've read that particular writer for a number of books, and it could be in a series or it could be a number of different kinds of books, you kind of start to pick up some of the tricks that that particular writer does. And I don't think that necessarily bugs me, because I certainly am guilty of it myself, and I guess I become more conscious of it. So that sometimes when I do that, or when I pick that up in another writer, I think more about then how, to say I'm working on a story or a novel or something, how I might vary myself so that I don't fall into the same patterns of how I might write a story or how I might write a particular character or a scene? Hmm. Unrealistic situations that a lot of characters find themselves in on a regular basis when they don't act uh, logical. I hate, I hate too much exposition. Just tell me the story, drop some in, and let me figure out the rest. Hmm. Sherlock Holmes. I would call probably Philip Marlowe right, from Raymond Chandler's series, just because he's very street smart and he sounds kind of sexy. Oh, I think that I'd call in the collective. I don't think any, <laughs> I think it would be fun to meet them all from uh, Hercule Perrault to, to uh, Marsha Mullers, even Kinsey Milhone. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to have a room full? I would love that. <laughs> I suppose I might call on uh, Hawk and Spencer. Yeah, that's probably who I'd call on. Because they never, you know, they don't get old. I mean, they, you, know, they, you know, they don't age. And uh, they're always in great shape. It's perfect. And, they know, and, and Spencer knows how to cook. So right there, you know. Thank you.